Hey, what's up my friends? I want to show you a quick tutorial on how to send files through Infusionsoft and track when these things are open. A lot of people will send attachments uh, straight through Infusionsoft embedded in the email and that's okay, uh, but there's a couple of problems. One is maybe the file is too big and it gets uh, clogged up in the prospect's email, you know, or the server doesn't go through. Uh, sometimes email clients will strip out attachments, but the big thing is you don't necessarily know when those people have actually downloaded that file. So here's what I like to do. So let me uh, remove this. I'm going to drag in a new goal. So let's say somebody opts in uh, for your web form and they, they want your free report, right? Free report. This goes into the follow-up sequence. Now, I aspire to the have your kids done their chore school of nurture or nudging or nagging follow-up sequences. You see here in Infusionsoft that little blue flag that says the sequence settings stop. Okay, when a goal is achieved, the sequence stops immediately. So if my kids, I assume they have not done their chores until I see physical proof that they have done their chores. So we're constantly asking, have you done the dishes? Have you done the dishes? Have you done the dishes? Yes, I've done the dishes. All right, I got to see it. So inside of my follow-up sequence, I'm going to assume that they are going to need multiple reminders. Okay, so let me clean this up a little bit. So right here, I'm going to send the ebook. Now, check this out. Like I said, I don't send the actual item, the actual PDF. I have another tab here, so I'm in my files, okay? So if you go up uh, to the little home icon here and files, now notice you have my files, you also have company files. For the most part, you're gonna want things in the company files. That way everybody in the company can access these things. So I have right here my sales agenda. So if you head on over to thesalesagenda.com, you can get this for free as well. But you notice here, once you upload this file, and it needs to be under 10 megs, which is still a pretty big file, once it's uploaded, if you right click on this download link, you notice now you can copy this link address. Okay, so I'm gonna copy that link address. I'm gonna go back to my email and say, hey, your book or your PDF, or your report is on the way. All right, now I'm gonna put this in here. Let me come into this email. We're gonna open it up. Um, click this link to download your free report, whatever you're sending, right? So we highlight this, you can make the whole thing if you want, whatever. Now link, I'm gonna go in here, right click and paste. And it's gonna be a long, crazy looking URL, but it doesn't matter, they're not gonna see it, okay? But now, Infusionsoft knows with a link click goal, let me delete that one. I'm gonna drag this over, you know what? Uh, clicked to download report. I'm going to change this to a clicks a link goal. All right, you notice how that icon changes. And uh, let me zoom in here for you. You should be able to see that fine and dandy. Now, let me let me do something real quick for you. I'm going to have a timer. Remember. I'm going to assume they did not download this report. I'm gonna wait a day, I'm gonna send it again on any day at 8 a.m. Now, if you off as a new thing, you can double click or right click and you can duplicate that previous, really any uh, component in here. Now, you're gonna to wanna to change this up a little bit, um, but essentially you could send the identical email if you wanted to, uh, you know, but here's the, link in case you misplaced it. Okay, now let me go ahead and mark these as ready. So your report is on the way. Here's your report. Mark it as ready. So now you could clone this and just, I mean, literally make a make hundred of them, okay? Let me see. You could highlight all that, hit control on your Mac, drag, and notice how, boom, it gets 
duplicate it. I could come here and do it again. Control, duplicate it. So this thing could just get really big, really fast. And I'm doing this in a crazy zigzag way just so it fits on the screen. So whatever you're, some people like to go just across the line, you know, left to right. Some like to fit it on one screen and go, go to the right and kind of like uh, typing a letter, right? You hit return and go back to the bottom left. So whatever floats your boat on the design. But again, when this goal is achieved, it will stop the sequence. So this is going to look at email number one, and I'm going to say, if they click that, then that completes the goal. Now I have to do this for each one because you could have other links or other content in your email. So Infusionsoft wants you to specifically identify which goal, which link completes the goal. So now I've said, okay, that link in any of these emails. So that's how you will know that somebody actually downloaded the report. Now you can create a follow-up sequence. Again, I'm going to assume they did not get the report. I'm going to assume they didn't click to read it. And you'll be surprised how many people don't consume the data you create. Do not assume that just because they called your office, filled out a report, mailed in a coupon or whatever, don't assume that they're going to consume it. Uh, and I learned that years ago. I was having lunch with a New York Times bestselling author. And, you know, I thought everything was so wonderful and glorious. She's, she's famous and making money, blah, blah, blah. But she told me right there that it's not enough to get people to read your stuff or to buy your stuff. You have to get them to consume. And we're all overwhelmed. People, they're looking for a silver bullet. Uh, they, they see your report. It catches their eye. They download it. Then in the meantime, you know, bam, uh, Kim Kardashian has a new video, a new half-naked post, and you know Kanye West says something idiotic, which is kind of normal, and they're off and running, and they're not consuming your stuff. So again, assume they don't. That's why I put multiple emails in here, nudge, nudge, nudge. Now I see that they clicked to download the report. Just because they downloaded it doesn't mean they're going to read it. So I'm going to have another one. What did you think? Okay. And I'm going to start the same thing all over again. Uh, may, now, remember, they just downloaded the report. So you don't want to hit them up right away. So you're going to put in some type of delay timer, maybe a day, you know, maybe you do an hour, okay, two hours, whatever. And any day of the week, uh, you, you could adjust this to say, you know, from midnight to 11.45, that's as close as you can get. So basically, it's going to run 24 hours because maybe they click on this at 10 p.m. on a Saturday night. So you can have a message fire off, you know, an hour or two later. Or if you don't want to seem creepy, maybe it goes on a weekday uh, and you're just going to send it, you know, the next weekday. So again, if they do this at 1 a.m. Saturday morning, they're not going to hear from you until Monday morning at 8 a.m. Okay, so we can make this specifically. So you just got to figure out how you want to communicate. Uh, so that happens. Now you send an email. Hey, what did you think? Okay. And then you could go into details, maybe have a PS, maybe have some type of bonus offer, maybe go a little bit deeper. Say, hey, I just sent you the report, you know, the seven deadly sins of selling. And, and I do this on the seven deadly sins of selling. I say, let's dig a little deeper into the first of the seven deadly sins of selling. Okay. And I call it anti-ocleitis, shooting from the hip. And then I'll go into more detail than I even did in the report. And then I'll say, hey, P.S., tomorrow we'll dig into number two, uh, and you're going to like what I talk about here. And so you're kind of teeing it up, letting them know to expect more. That'll keep them uh, from opting out or marking you as spam quite as often. They'll always opt out. But when they know something's coming and they like the report and they like the way you're communicating with them, chances are much higher they're going to stick with you and go through it. But again, you can't assume anything. You can't assume that they got the email. You can't assume that they downloaded the report. You can't assume that they read the report. You can't assume that they took action on it, which was maybe to schedule a private consultation with you, or maybe it's to buy something, okay? You have to put in multiple steps, multiple nudges, multiple reminders to get them to take action. And in an ideal world, you're doing multimedia multi-step. So what I mean by that is 
You're asking for their cell phone number so you can text them. You're asking for their address so you can mail them a little package. I got this in the mail, uh, and I've been talking about it online. I'm going to make a little report on it, but this guy sent me this uh, perfect day formula. Let me zoom in there for you. Uh, but he just, out of the blue, the guy sends this. He heard my podcast, uh, sent me a nice letter, Dear Wes, and uh, the perfect day formula. So multimedia multi-step works direct mail works it is more expensive obviously than sending out a blast of emails but it makes a better impression okay i hope this helped you if you have more questions feel free to visit the saleswhisper.com and uh, contact me there you can hit me up on twitter um, online everywhere and if you are ready for some infusion soft help please check out best crm help Dot com and you can invest in a couple of hours different blocks of hours and we'll dive in and build this out for you thanks for watching good selling